Let's take a look at finding the sample mean of group data. So let's come up with an example. Okay. We got age and we got frequency. Um, I don't know, this says this is 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, this will go to 9, uh, this will go to 14, 19, and 24. And we got 2, 7, 13, and 5. Well, we do need our midpoints. Now midpoints, you add the current lower class plus the next lower class and divide by 2. So we got 5 plus 10 lower class limit, I should say. <laughs> 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. And we're adding 5 over and over. Um, so this will be 12.5. Uh, this one will be 17.5. And this one will be 22.5. Now we're going to put the midpoints in L1. And we're going to put the frequency in L2. So let's go to our calculator. I'll press STAT. In run edit. If you have numbers in L2, you highlight the number and keep pressing delete over and over. Um, if you have numbers in L1, again, you highlight them and press delete over and over and it'll delete them out. Just don't delete L1 and L2. Okay, so our midpoints were 7.5, 12.5, and I'm pressing enter after each one. 17.5 and 22.5. I'll right arrow over and I'll put frequency in L2. So I got 2 inner, 7 inner, 13 inner, 5 inner. Okay, so after you get those input, then you go ahead and exit out. So do a second mode. And we're going to go into stat. We're going to right arrow to calc. And we want to choose one of our stats. Then we're going to do second one, comma, second two. L, the L1 is where we put our midpoints at, comma, and frequency we put in L2. So that's why I chose L1 and L2. If you put them in different lists, you'd have to put the whatever the list name's down there with a comma between them. And then press enter. And our sample mean um, and population mean, uh, same formula for both of them, uh, was this first one, this X bar. So it would be 16.4 16 as our mean, rounded to one decimal place.